Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another striker break. We're doing it. The blaster box case. I left it on the stage. This is four blaster boxes worth. And there's a lot of stuff coming from this. Just a lot of parallels. A lot of parallels. Happy holidays. It's everybody's favorite holiday today. I don't know what one it is, but I know that the post office is closed. So that's great for everybody who wanted their eBay card shipped out. Trust me, they're packed up, ready to go. Every time there's a Monday holiday, I make my way to the post office. I'm just all ready to go. Here you go. And ding, ding, the door's locked. What do we think about blaster boxes, ladies and gentlemen? Nice way to break up the workday, says Nick. Yeah, I agree. Rob says, got four fanatics coming this Friday. I So it's tax time. We talked about it. I'm going through all my tax stuff, and I'm on the fanatics site figuring out all the expenses that I've had this year and whatever. And I noticed that my fanatics boxes had not only shipped but they arrived. So I got a couple boxes right behind me for the next show or a future show, if you will. We're going to check those out, but first I want to see what blasters are all about. And we got to be awfully careful going through these cards. Not only the Kevin Hart to 52. Here we go. But the Clark Schmidt Holiday. We got to keep our eyes peeled for Clark Schmidt holiday parallels. Just kidding. Juan Soto and Shohei. I mean, I can still go through quick. But not too quick. I don't even really... We've, we've got so much to do. Thank you for joining me, first of all. I appreciate you guys. It, it makes this so much funner. Like, if I was just sitting by myself, I wouldn't be doing this, first of all. I like hanging out with you guys doing it. Seeing what you have to say. Talking baseball. There's a blue. Polanco. And you know what? This is just kind of, to me right now, it just feels kind of mechanical. We're going through the steps. Going through the motions until we hit the big boy. Here's one right here. That's a decent boy. Is Henry Davis my guy? Have we... St I don't want him to be. Nothing against Henry. He's great. A great guy, a great human being, a, a wonderful gentleman. Uh, what well, Ellie to be the guy I get over and over. I'll even, I mean, or you know who, you know all the guys. Is it going to be Henry Davis, though? There could be worse. Could be worse, guys. Pulled a camo game day. Nice. We'll see what happens here. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna crush the blasters. Joe Adele, that's something. Oh, it's a rainbow foil. Sal Freelick. It's all about the dart throws. We talk about it all the time. All the time. And we're getting lots of dart throws. I need you guys to keep your eyes peeled. For those elusive little SPs. And the first. Don't forget that. I'm hoping. Which maybe you guys can tell me. Because I haven't seen one pulled yet. But I'm hoping that the the first rookie cards. Are with. Like the flippers. Or they're flipped. I'm hoping they're flipped. Has anybody seen one pulled? Because I would hate. To just pass by something that. That juicy. You don't got to save them, Brian. You can get both. That's the beauty. 
Norton what's happening. Freddy Chrome. I don't think we got a Chrome out of that last pack, out of that last box. Unless I'm mistaken. But I think we're going to continue with the theme of every box has something. Like a Dane Dunning holiday. Not really the something that we're looking for. Not really. Aquas look nice. My buddy texted me. He got his Fanatics boxes in. And he said that his son actually found the... He, he, he didn't notice the blues. He thought they looked kind of similar. Like kind of tough to see. The Aquas out of the Fanatics boxes. Freddie Freeman, perp. You know what? I may just... I may just go like this. Yeah. Oh, not another Randy. Three Randys. Home run challenge Randys. No. I'm going to have to draft Randy in fantasy this year. New York Yankees team card. Do you think the potential is here like it was in 2022 with Julio and Bobby? Different release, different, different. What's going on here? So this is a series one. Series one, um, we'll get into it. So when you have a rookie card in series one, the rest of the year, you're gonna have cards. When you only have your rookie card appear in Tops Update, you're gonna be limited. What is this? What? What? Sorry, I'm all I'm all clumped. All right. What's going on here? There's just a lot going on in this pack. And I'm confused while I'm trying to hold a conversation. Anyway, so like update, Julio and Bobby, 2022 update. Julio and Bobby, superstar players, a unique, coincides with this rule change, with the extra stolen bases. You know, we're getting freak numbers put up. And they only have Topps Chrome update. There's only a few releases. Like they had Tops Gallery rookies. Um, they had Heritage High number, Chrome update. You know, it's just a, a few up, a few releases had their stuff in it. I'm all mixed up again. Whereas Series One, all of these guys who are in Series One, and a lot of them that are in Series Two, are going to have multiple cards that you can get out of multiple releases. So. It's, it's not exactly apples to apples. But if you're asking, are they talented? Is the talent there for like this rookie class that's in Series 1 compared to Julio and Bobby? Too, it's early. It's really early. I could say yes. I could say no. I could say maybe. But what? You never really know, do you, until they perform. Jason Dominguez and L.A. De La Cruz are both very young five-tool type players. Bobby and Julio, very young five-tool type players. So the thing that this has that that doesn't have is, ooh, look at this. We got a rare one, I think. Roses? Oh yeah, that's to 50. So the thing that this has that those don't have, so Kansas City and Seattle aren't exactly like super hitter friendly ballparks. Now in Kansas City in the summer, you start getting some high totals, high uh, run totals because of the heat and the humidity. Seattle, not a hitter's ballpark, but Julio can overcome that because he's just, he's just so talented. Now, the two big boys out of here, Ellie and Dominguez, play in very hitter-friendly ballparks. And Dominguez plays in a like the biggest market. He's a Yankee. He gets the Yankees bump. So 
that alone propels his rookie cards. Man, I am freezing cold right now. It's only 64 degrees and I got a fan blowing. Brrr. So that's something to think about. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. This is just my own PC rip. I, I appreciate it. The likes, the subscribes, super chats, all of that. This is this is expensive, really, really expensive. Whole case of these. That's a sweet card. Ruiz orange. The oranges look good. Look at that. To two ninety nine. Now we're talking. Now we're getting some some numbered stuff. Should we go back and look at this? Because we're not going to see a ton of these. Oh, I know what I was going to do. That's Once again, that's to 50. I was going to pull this up. I got some info that you guys will be interested in. One second. It's only going to take a second. Just got to find my guy here. Here it is. So on Twitter, shout out. Tops Production BB. He's doing all the numbers on this stuff. The production numbers, estimated production numbers. Okay, so we've got. He did the. He did the numbers for 2024, 2023, all the way back numbers guy i like it and so 2024 production numbers from the standpoint of how many base cards they they made his estimate is 809 let's call it 900,000 base cards not even a million that number is in line with 2022 Actually, it's less than 2022. 2023, there was approximately 1.25 million base cards. 2022, there was 972,000, 973,000 base cards of each. So there's actually less production. There's a lot of people like whining and complaining about base card production. Enough. Nobody wants to hear your complaints, first of all. But there's less made than there has been in like three years so a nice little nugget of info not since 2021 and i mean they've increased a lot like 2020 there were 369,000 368,000 roughly and 2021 it jumped to 700,000 so there's a huge jump during the thing after the thing whatever during after whatever because of the popularity, the popularity exploded. There was, you know, at least twice as many people that got into the hobby or got serious about the hobby. So they increased the production twice as much. And then it slowly kind of ticked up from there. But so base cards, nobody cares. If you care about how many base cards they make, get a life. What we should be caring about, and I don't, I'm not saying what you should care about, but the things that matter, in my opinion, are the more rare things. How many of the more rare things are there? And We've got numbers for these special little cards here. The base cards, these uh, base holiday inserts. This is what I was interested in finding out. How many of these are there for each player? And there's about 5,600. Now we're talking, right? A little over twice, a little over twice as many as a gold numbered card that's super collectible and valuable. The eggs, 781. The rabbits to 299. The roses to 50. So it just kind of gives you an idea of like how many of the, like, oh, that's nice. Like, should there be value? How much value should there be in something like this? Because I was interested in that. Like, 299 of these, these little rabbits here, you know? That's going to make that pretty darn collectible, I think. But we've got numbers on other things, too. Shout out to you again, Tops Production BB. 
Let me go back. Royal Blues. John, thanks for the $5 super chat. Thanks for all your advice and entertainment. I thank you, my friend. We're going to get a good one. Royal Blues. How many of these are there? That's what I'm concerned with or interested in. About 5,200. Approximations. What about rainbow foils? Because this is an old reliable. Everybody's familiar with the rainbow foils. 73, 74. Th these are rough numbers, but let's say 7,400. The gold, we're always talking about the gold foils, gold rainbow foils. And in the past, there's been around 650. Looks like there's about 900. It's a little increase in production. What about the Fanatics boxes, the Aquas? 1795, about 1800 Aquas. What about the yellow foils from the hanger boxes? Yellow foils, only 205. Straight up yellows from the hanger boxes, about 2150. Another home run challenge. I keep doing these backwards, Albies. How about golden mirrors? Approximately 142 of them. That's low, low. Low, low. And silver crackles, 1346. About 1350 of those. So in case you're chasing, looking for... I don't know that the market really gets all this right right away usually the best time to buy is after a while like so when we get a couple more releases that come out and these guys have more rookie cards and different releases that's probably the, a better time to buy after things calm down a little bit because this is all really hot should be pretty spicy on the market but i don't think some of some of this will get completely flushed out the prices for a while just because there's so many new parallels Wong says he got three different Ellie cards and four hangers. Wow. Steve found hangers and blasters at Best Buy. Yeah, I heard they're at, at Best Buy. And I also heard there's some good deals to be had. Good deals to be had on retail stuff. I paid full, full price for all this stuff. Like... But I had to pre-order it so I could get it nice and early and get a good rip established. I guess Nick Gonzalez is another one of my guys. Like, I'm getting all the pirates. Henry Davis, Nick Gonzalez. <clears throat> what city you in? I live in Michigan. Little small town. Gravity boxes. Yeah, they're not the best format. I'll tell you that. But at this point, since I've been through everything, everything has its pros and cons to rip but there's nothing that i would just say like don't buy it just don't buy that format it's all close enough to where you don't need to worry about it because it's really hard to quantify like once you get past the initial dollar per parallel dollar per card dollar per auto if you can even figure that out <clears throat> It's easy to figure out dollar per auto in a jumbo box. Look at this. We got a golden mirror. Cal Raleigh with the trident. Mm. 
Only 251 of them. Roughly. No, I'm sorry. 142 of them. I like it. Century with a dollar ninety nine was with twenty twenty three series one and two prices being so low. It's just flagship. That's what happens. They make a lot of this, and then as more releases come out, people want to buy the new releases, and then the distributors are kind of left holding the bag, and so they got to get rid of it somehow. Future Stars, Bo Naylor. We got a few more boxes left. And by a few, I mean dozens and dozens of them. Greenskeeper coming in with a two spot. Man, we've been seeing you a lot lately. Love it. Thanks for the dono. Yeah, this is fun. I love a, I mean, this is, this is where it's at. New season, new season of baseball, new season of baseball cards. Got a gold in here. We got to, you know, just get a big gold and not another team card parallel. Over under on when frustration starts to mount on my part. That might have been the beginning. Gold team card. That's enough to do it. I got to hit something. I got to hit something. It's bound to happen. Brian says, I really like the subtle foiling on the team name. Yeah, that's something that I haven't really talked about, I don't think, uh, a whole lot. But it is really good. So the border and going around the team logo, going around the position all the way up to the team name is really cool. If you get it in the right light, you can see it, but you got to see it in person. It's a nice touch. Really nice touch. I see it. I appreciate it. Mr. Enfuego, what's happening? How many blasters? 40 blasters in a case. Another chrome. We got five star coming out. We're going to do breaks of five star on Wednesday and Friday. We'll do mixers. Curtis Mead, we got a relevant rookie. I may do, because I think a case of those is eight boxes. I think it's eight boxes. All right. Oh, that's eggs, right? Okay. So we got eggs, rabbits, flowers. We should keep these guys. I'm going to put the Ellie's together right here. Like so. And then I'm going to put all these little parallels together and we'll see how many of each we get of the lower numbered ones. And then I'll keep... The regular ones of the good rookies on that stand and then we'll put others here so we got luciano put him there cal rally how many golden mirrors are we gonna get it i don't know but we got one so far walker with a dollar 99 pull some hot fire brother thank you for the dono i will try i'll try my hardest walker Got a little poker action going on tonight. Out at my boy, 50 buck Chuck's place. Gonna be fun. Cunha. Good as gold right here. And I went bowling this weekend. Missed an Ellie base, not putting a bit, not putting base cards aside, Nick. I'm opening so many, like, just cases and cases, like, not concerned about it. I'm selling all of this stuff in one lot to people, so I'm not even separating. It's like, that's their job to do. Judge, nice judge. Judge. 
Jeter. Did we get a little freeze? I'm going to have to call this company and complain. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not really a complainer. But I should. Paying for a service. So, yeah, I went bowling on Saturday, and it was the first time in, I don't know, like five years maybe, or at least since before the thing. And I did better than I ever, like not ever, but I've, I did better than I have, that I can even remember, which I'm not a good bowler. Like when I go, I'm thinking, let's, let's get over 100, and then we'll talk, and we'll start talking. And I got like a 150 something, 140 something, and then like probably like a 130 something, which is, which was the best out of all my friends. And I was bowling with a couple of buddies that are good. And they had the worst games of their life and I had some of the best games of my life. I think it's, I think my game got a little bit better because I've been playing more cornhole over the last few years. Bunnies! Triolo. Let's top load him. Two hundred and ninety nine of these bad dogs. I think one fifty is respectable. For a person who never bowls and hasn't for years, definitely. I got turkey, like, all good. Oh, yeah. Nine. You want to see it? There he is. There they are. You just gotta be patient. Eggs. 781. About 800 of these. It's a Benintendi. I should probably top load him too. I was just trying to save a little time. I want a big boy though. We're stacking up the tough ones. If you could only buy three cases in 2024, which three releases are you ordering and which box variations? Topps Chrome, number one, just straight up. Topps Chrome, we don't know what Topps Chrome update is going to be like exactly, but probably Topps Chrome update or maybe just regular Topps update. One of those two. And then I can't limit it to three probably, but we're talking Bowman, Bowman, Chrome, Bowman draft. Whichever is going to have the best checklist out of that. And maybe I just go, okay, just Bowman, Bowman, Chrome, Bowman draft for, th for three. But that means I couldn't get any Topps Chrome, so that would be sad. But Bowman Chrome is going to be filthy this year because it's going to have all the rookies throughout like the whole, the whole year's worth of rookies. Bowman Chrome is going to be filthy. You heard it here first. Nothing in this pack? Hmm. What have we got so far that's worth even talking about? 
Golden Mirror. But it's Cal Rally. That's about it. I mean, the roses to 50. That's a, that's tough. It's really tough. A bunny and an egg. About to get hot. About to. Any time now. Nah, Ronald, I appreciate that, but you don't need to do any work. This is all the work you need. Sitting back and relaxing. Chrome Lawler. Got a couple of these. Top's Chrome going to be nasty. I don't know about Chirio Sentry, but probably. They might do... It depends on who's in Series 2. They already have that figured out, too, by the way. We'll know more when, like, opening day rosters are announced. Because if you made the opening day roster... Odds are you're going to be in uh, Series 2. If you're not in Series 1 already. And at the very least, you're going to be an update. For sure. Bryce home run. Should I submit to PSA a signed Panini Prism, Mike Trout, the catch? He signed it in person. To get it authenticated, you could, yeah. You could. Wouldn't hurt. Because you want it to be authenticated. Probably. Although, if it's just like a personal personal thing. I mean, it just depends. It's a, you know, it's your own flavor, whatever you, whatever you want to do. I've never had one of those. I've never submitted something like that, that was signed in person and needed to be authenticated. I don't find those cards to be something that I want to buy. I don't want to buy cards that were signed in person like that. And a lot of that is because there's just an unspecified number that will exist. And I prefer to just kind of get the ones out of that are already authenticated, already real out of baseball cards. Cause there's plenty of those as it is. So the ones that are signed in person, it's like, man, they could just sign like millions of those. But that's just me. A lot of people like the, like the TTM stuff. And I, I think if you get it signed in person, it's kind of more of a sentimental thing thing that you will remember and so you don't really have to get it authenticated unless it's just for peace of mind or if you're you don't want to i don't know like if you're trying to sell it then yeah you definitely want to get it authenticated then if you're trying to sell it just so the people know it'll be worth way more authenticated adley yeah yamamoto would be serious too i would think MJR, thank you. You pulled a to five watering can. Hopefully we get one of those. Nick Gonzalez and Henry Davis. I don't know whether to stack them with Henry. Oh, that don't do it to me. Don't. Let's just stop right there with the Nick Gonzalez stuff. Nothing against him. Before you get all, what's wrong with Nick Gonzalez? Why do you hate him? I get so much of that. And the why do you hate Kikuchi? It's like, it's just a joke. There's no hate. 
There's no hate in my heart. It's just a, a running bit. Why do you hate Nick Gonzalez? I don't. I'm sure he's lovely. I'm just... I just want others. Reese Olsen Rainbow Foil. We're really not getting a ton of Rainbow Foils. There's a handful. Let me pull up my value sheet. I can drop all the info you guys need and want. Here we go. Multi-value sheet. You guys, I've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, like 42 value sheets I've done over the years. Blasters, one in 10 for the rainbow foil. So it's actually like the best way to pull a, a rainbow foil is out of blasters. I guess we are getting them at a pretty good clip. Are rainbow foils worth anything? Yeah. If you get a good rainbow foil and gem it up, like a alley, you know, one of the big three or a big rookie, definitely has some value. Cubby. There's 50 buck Chuck. I was just telling the, the crew that 50 buck Chuck's hosting poker tonight, and I'm looking forward to it. Cubby, a tip for getting an auto at spring training is to be a child or a good-looking girl. <laughs> that is a good tip. Thanks for dropping that good tip. Jared pulled an LEHFA out of a monster. It was just chasing golds. <laughs> Congratulations. Actually, out of monsters, HFAs are pretty good. Very good to chase. Not the best, but quite good. Who's your favorite player to chase for your PC? It just depends on the, the release, and it, it changes over the years. That's cool. I like Yuri Perez, Future Stars. Uh, originally, it was uh, chasing Tatis. I got a massive Tatis collection. And then it kind of morphed into... I mean, during 2021, I, I was chasing like four or five different guys. I've got a whole, couple of whole rows of rookies from, from that era. Trey Cabbage. Oh, Market 256 frustration sets in when Trey Cabbage is my gold. And then uh, I, I, Bobby and Julio chase them. I'm still chasing that Julio gold, the elusive Julio gold. I think I think we're at eight cases now. I've ripped trying to trying to chase a Julio gold. I could have bought like dozens of them. Hi, Julie. I'm well. I hope you're well as well. Ken, what's up, man? These are blasters. Oh, yeah. FWO, even better, a good looking girl holding a child. What? You're bound to get an auto. Roses again. Another fitty. Mauricio Dubon, though. Two golds, or two roses. Two roses? Two roses. Let's keep stacking them. We're bound to hit, man. It's like, I'm not good at darts, but if you give me, I don't know, like 200 darts, I'm bound to hit a bullseye. Or at least a 20.
What do we have here? This is a loaded pack, but it's the Marlins team card. Pavetta. Ellie. I guess I'll sleeve it up. Put him with a Baldy. Really hitting the big names. Muck City with his 13 month membership. I feel a big one coming. Let's go. Yes. Yes. I'm feeling the vibes now. Positivity coming through. And eggs. Did we get a, a roses and eggs? Flowers and eggs in the same thing? We're getting quite a few eggs. I haven't eaten yet today either. I'm starting to feel that that feeling. That like nausea shaky feeling. I actually I did have a couple of cashews. But that doesn't really count. It kinda does. I was really wanting to get some T Bell today. So I'm saving myself. Yeah, I did order the Fanatics boxes, Julie, and they they arrived like right before the stream. So I got them sitting back there. JB has his son get the auto. And then I'm like, okay, give it to daddy. Be very careful. Hand daddy the card. He's got a top loader in his pocket ready to go. Grand Gamers, yes. That's a numbered one. That's pretty sweet. To two ninety nine, we'll put them right there. Man, this. Oh, okay, it's a different box. Rainbow foil, Brian De La Cruz. Michael, you like the Phillies hat? Thanks. How do we get in a break with you? Let me drop you a link. I got it right here. You got to join the Patreon crew. I don't do tons and tons of breaks, so if you want to get in one, you got to be part of the group. It's for people who like the channel and want to support what I do. And they like me and they want to get involved in the breaks. That's what it's that's what it's all about. There's a link. Arcia. Look at this stack of holidays already. It's a pretty big stack. Make sure you guys are keeping your eyes peeled for those special cards. There's there's so many like little sneaky SPs and, and variations and stuff. It's it's tough. Blake likes the Aqua parallels from the Fanatics boxes. Yep. Average buy-in for a break. It's all over the place. I try to keep it around ninety-nine because there's Ground Advantage has ninety-nine or a hundred dollars in insurance on the packages. So that's like a perfect bang for your buck point where your package can be insured. And uh, also we can get like a ton of good boxes involved in the breaks. Cause I want as many people to get hits as possible. And if you have less expensive ones, your odds, the cheaper it is, the less odds you have of getting a hit. Sweet. Sweet. Salt. Salt's coming down now. There's about 25 more boxes, though. Do you think they printed more of this or 88 Don Ross? Way more 88 Don Ross. Everybody thinks they printed, like, so much of this, but... They printed less this year than they did the last two years. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. They, there's a limited number of parallels and that's really what matters. Because it's like, hey, hey, you chasing this? No, nobody is. Well, maybe, maybe the guy who buys like one box at the store or something, they're just like, oh, sweet, one of these. They don't care how much is made. The people that are chasing like an Ellie in that, Okay, there's only 299 of them. 
doesn't matter if they printed a bazillion boxes. It's just harder to get if they printed more. But they added more parallels, so it's easier to get more. You get it. Everybody gets it. Steve with a 36 month, three years with the best on YouTube. Keep crushing. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate you, man. Buxton. All right, here, let's have this conversation. Of all the injury prone players, quote unquote, injury prone players, who's going to be the one that stays healthy this year? and blows the ADP projections out of the water. Like, you know, there's there's guys like Buxton and Trout. I don't know. You get this, this is what we're talking about here. Who's the guy that actually stays healthy, puts a full season together, and ends up being like a top 10 fantasy pick, but they drop, you know, their ADP drops because they can never stay healthy. Jazz, another, another one. Um, how about O'Neal Cruz? There's four. Royce Lewis, there's five. Stanton, there's six. Jimenez, there's seven. There's lots of them. Tatis, there's eight. We got so many superstar caliber players that just can't quite put a full season together, and it's tough. Baseball's a long season. Grueling. But who's it going to be? We got, a, we got multiple Royce Lewis. George Springer, that's another good one. Pedro, greetings. Thanks for joining us. More eggs. Not one good one yet. Well, you're a Bryce. Call. Altuve. Chris Sale. Good call. Riley Green. Good call. You pulled a jazz heavy lumber. Okay. Key Brian. Bryce. Rendon. Very good. Very good. You guys are good. I don't know about. I don't. Is it another Ellie. I think I have two of these. Or, or do I not? It's possible I pulled one for somebody else. Yeah, I think I pulled one for somebody else. But I don't think Rendon, like if he stays healthy, is going to be that big of a game changer. I could be wrong, but I don't think that team is stacked enough around them. It doesn't matter that much how stacked the team is around you if you hit, th you know, 300 with 115 RBIs. But the RBIs, like, okay, is Trout going to... He kind of correlates with Trout. Like, if Trout's healthy, then he'll have more RBI opportunities. And... How about one? Yeah, I mean, there's so many twins like Kirilov. Um, just multiple twins. Rendon only wants to play 80 games. Otani. Mm -hmm. Another blue. Prelander. Lloyd fan with a five dollar dono. What's good, striker? Got a two row box of cards for twenty five bucks at my local auction house, full of twenty thirteen cards. Nothing big, but some Machado rookie inserts and Bryce. Not bad. Twenty five bucks. What can you get for twenty five bucks these days? Not much. Torque. Gallo, Chris Bryant, that's a good one. Sweet spot. Chris Bryant, he he's capable. I mean, a lot of the guys you said, if not all of them, are capable. Bellinger, great one. But, dude, Bryant and Bellinger, those are two guys who could totally... I don't know... Just because of where he's playing, especially. Like, we don't know yet where Bellinger's going to play, right? He didn't sign yet, did he? There's still multiple guys that haven't signed. 
But just from a ballpark standpoint, Chris Bryant could put up like a 40 whatever season. They have huge numbers. Top remaining free agents, Cody Bellinger, Matt Chapman, Jordan Montgomery, Blake Snell, J.D. Martinez, Brandon Belt, Eddie Rosario, Joey Votto, Colton Wong, Tim Anderson, C.J. Krohn, Adam Duvall, Ahmed Rosario, Clevenger. There's a lot of them. Wow. Odorizzi, Ryu, a lot of them. Solaire from a healthy. I don't know that he's going to be a game changer, Solaire. But he could be. He's had the. He's had some weird like some seasons. He's amazing. Some seasons he's not good. How do you think Torkelson's going to do? Good, hopefully. I mean, we're at that. He's at that past the 1000 ab point so i think i i think we kind of know what he is lower batting average high exit velocity good amount of power horrible ballpark come on phone there we go <laughs> it's catching up Step in the box. How's it going, brother? Lots of those guys are Boris guys. Yeah, man, they're holding out. I know. It's, oh, man, I hate it when they hold out like that because it seems like it takes a little bit longer for them to, like, like longer in the season. Sometimes they just don't have the season that they should have because they held out so long. Another egg, Tyler O'Neill. I guess we'll top load him. We're getting plenty of eggs. Come on, big gold. Just save the day with a big gold. Not the one. The likes of Oviedo, Cabbage, Orioles team card, Sears, and Astros team card. Goldschmidt washed, possibly. He's late on the fastballs, and that's usually the first sign. Are we live still? Hold on. Yeah, okay. I'm get I'm getting an error message. Dude, if I was Bauer, man, I oh, I would be looking to sue everybody. Some kind of a grand conspiracy against him. If nobody wants him, come on. He was already exonerated. What is with all the pirates? Maybe there's just a lot of pirates in the checklist. Maybe that's the reason. Corey Seager, Chrome. I guess, I mean, are we pulling Ellie inserts? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not.
Well, the difference is Bauer's actually good, Brian. Home run challenge, Bobby. Another box down. Another one on deck. Do you think MLB is scripted? No. If you changed MLB to NFL, now we can have a conversation. Or NBA. You can't, like, MLB can't really be scripted. So much. Verdugo. You know, you got a 100-mile-per-hour ball coming in, and it's all, it's like very soon we're going to be at the point where robo, robo umps are calling balls and strikes, and then we, like, we get replays and stuff for safe and out. There's not much that can be manipulated. Josh Young. NBA is way too easy to be scripted. They've already been busted. Like, ticky-tack fouls. Fouls are just way too easy to be, to be uh, manipulated. NBA is just not even a thing anymore, really. It's so bad. They, they need to make some major changes to that game to make it relevant. Mauricio. Yeah, I mean, balls and strikes are going to be, they're going to get it all figured out perfectly. Especially when, with like the advancement of the AI stuff, they're going to be able to like, get it dialed in real nice. Oh, Hearn. They're already almost there. Like they've been doing it in the minors. They're just tweaking it. 11 foot rims. Yeah, Chuck thinks there should be 11 foot rims. I'm I'm open. I'm listening. I think there should just be I don't know. I don't have the answer. More physicality. But they don't want their 50 million dollar players getting hurt. I understand. Um, flopping, they should have like some, some better flopping, anti-flopping rules. Cause that's just awful. They need to get traveling under control. It's horrible. The traveling is horrible. It's like, what's the point of even having a rule? I think they should move the three point line back. Too many people are, they need it. So like it's just not the only thing to do is chuck a three move it back like i don't know what the number is but they need to move it back higher rims move it back flopping rules so that if you flop it's actually like a, the other team gets to shoot a free throw or something i don't know who cares it's it's nba who, who really cares not me not anymore Striker, it's only because the Pistons are horrible. Otherwise, you would care. Maybe so. I won't deny it. Four-point line half court. No, I don't want people chucking. Just 
You get Steph out there just chucking half pointers. That's not good basketball. I don't know. I don't. I really don't. It's just who cares? Yeah. Red Wings fan. Yeah, I mean, the Red Wings are like they've been. When I was growing up, they were so good for so long that it got to the point where it just kind of once the playoffs come around, I start watching hockey a little bit more. But I'm not really the biggest hockey fan. I don't. I don't just watch regular season Red Wings games really or anything like that. If they were really good, I would probably, but, and they're like up and coming, but hockey's not my, my biggest sport that I love to watch. I, I liked it back in the day when there was the rivalries with the Red Wings and the Rocky or the Avalanche. And you know, when they were really, really good and that, that was fun, but blue jazz. It's kind of tough being a sports fan these days with all these multiple platforms that you have to watch. Like the the straw that broke the camel's back is having these games on like a Peacock app and an Amazon Prime. It's like, who do you think you are? You really <laughs> more eggs. I don't like it at all. I don't like having to get these special platforms to watch sports. It makes me just not, okay, I just won't watch them then. Is that what you wanted? And you got some like math magician in the back, like it doesn't matter if like half of the people don't watch. If uh, if, if we get X amount of people, we'll make one more million dollars. Get out of here. I, I don't need your sport anyway. And now I hate it. Is that what you wanted? Call me old fashioned. But but if we don't but if we don't have our games on Peacock, then we can't play pay our players fifty million dollars a season. It has to move there. Tons of people are dumping cable TV services. They need to move it online. Disagree. Maybe people wouldn't be dumping cable services so much if they had their sports package that they had to get through cable. See, that would save cable, in my opinion. If they had, like, you have to get cable to watch your team or watch your sports, because that's what, like, that's what I would do. Like, I would, and that's what I have done in the past is, like, Okay, I'll get the whole cable package if that's what I got to do to watch, you know, my teams play every single time. If I can watch my home team, I'll on Fox Sports or whatever, I'll get it. But now Wait a minute. Getting doubles, eh? <laughs> yeah, Apple TV, all that. It just, nah, I just won't watch. Congratulations, you lost a fan. Cable is ridiculous. Yep. It's a compounding effect. Another job. Dude, I think that's a double too. It is. I don't want any more doubles. I... I
I want one relevant standworthy card. This is getting ridiculous. Salt. Salt's going to start shaking out of that shaker way more now. Now that the doubles are flowing. Mm. 785 in here. Hey, hit that like button, guys, if you don't mind. We got lots of people in here. Show the love. Dude, I think I got to do... Oh, no. Why? Why is it like this? Why is it Dubon? Oh, I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. Let's get a little Clayton in. But let's see what happens now. Couch, couch. Last NFL I watched. Fridge and the Bears won the Super Bowl. Chris Murphy Blue. Cubby says, I picked up my third tops chrome red Riley Green. Three down, two to go. You're looking for the complete red set? Wow. Cubby's got faith. We're going to have a healthy Riley to start the season. And he's going to finish with, I don't know, let's see. what Cubby, what do you think he's going to finish? Assuming... Perfect health, starts the season, all good, plays 95-plus percent of the games. I mean, 90%. What do we want to say? 90% of the games or more. What do you think those numbers are going to look like? Brandon, you like that? Yeah, I got that uh, Raleigh Golden Mirror. I might freak out if I don't get like one of the big three in a parallel. People like to see me get frustrated, Orange Joe. Because I, I start to get goofy. Funny, maybe. Entertaining, if not funny. Because it's real. The, the pain and frustration is real. Can't, can't. Hold it back for too long. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, you open up a couple boxes, don't get your card, fair enough. You open up a couple cases, don't get anything good. Well, I'm only human. Dude, that's another pirate. What? Don't you make me do it. If I see your face again on a parallel, slicing and dicing is on the table. Any pirate. I don't want any more of them. Cubby's back says 875 OPS, 26 homers. I think we'll take that. And that's not that's not crazy. That's within the realm. I like it. That's a that's a healthy OPS. Good amount of home runs. Add a add a can we add a dozen stolen bases in there too? Maybe like a plus defender. We add all that together. And I like it. a winning season nope Anthony even him sick of him 
The whole team. Sick of them. And you know we're going to get some more. Because we got a pirate's case. It's very clear to me that they sent the wrong case to the wrong person. <laughs> what are the odds that just all of them are skunks? Easy does it. Easy. Don't get don't get too crazy. I almost stabbed right through it. And we may get to that point. I'm not impressed with this run of cards. Not impressed, Kyle. Rainbow foil, Devin Williams. What, like, one of these packs is going to have something to speak of. Right? It's bound to happen. Mike lifting the vibes with 10 gifted memberships. Thank you. And Jeff calling for a Mother's Day Dominguez to save the day. I like it. I like where your head's at, Jeff. We're going to do that. Been getting plenty of giants and pirates. We are, how many, how many do you think I got left? One, two. We're actually, we're only a little over halfway done. So there's plenty of chances. Especially if I get real aggressive with the packs. Another Bobby home run challenge card. I know, Anthony, I wasn't going to say anything because I don't want three of them for the love of them. Brian with a $1.99 super chat thinks it's the Phillies hat. I think you're right. I don't have a Yankees hat. Never have, never will. But it might be might be the one. Oh, sweet. A blue that has Shohei on it. That might be the best card we've got. 
a blue parallel featuring one of three players and one of them's Shohei. Tough pulls Tim. The 32 month banger incoming. I'm sending the good vibes. Yeah. Here we go. That's a pirate. All right, this is your last chance, Pirates. You better not show your face again in a parallel. I'm going to give you one more shot. Steve with the 499. I pulled a Henry Davis gold silver pack and a Trout HFA from my hobby box. Maybe you should sacrifice a card. I'm giving them one more shot. I'm all about second chances and third, fourth, fifth chances. There's a little separate pile happening over here for like those kind of cards where you're like, well, it is a parallel. Yeah, it's a rookie. Don't do it. I know, Derek. I know. Goats down. I feel like there should be tumbleweeds blowing by. Have you hit any black foil one on ones? <laughs> no, but I got plenty of. We used to call them no names back in the day. That's pretty disrespectful. I'm not against it, but it is pretty disrespectful. That was back in the day when it's just you and your buddies sitting there opening packs. And you're like, did you get anything good? And they're like, nah, it's just a bunch of no names. It's Luis Matos. I do like Luis Matos. I'll take that one. That's, I'm relegated to just like, I mean, Matos, and Matos. Which he's not bad. And he could be like that sleeper guy who ends up being one that you go back through your piles trying to find. Which is always fun. If I get a one on one pirate, I don't care. It's just slicing and dicing time. Time to slice and dice. <laughs> it's a red, but it's not the red we want. There's a couple of them. I'll take a CES or an Alley. 
Chris asks, what's the best hit so far? Whoever I hit with this next. Probably. There, there's... There's not a lot to talk about. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a Rangers team. <clears throat> it's Ranger Suarez. What's worse, the Rangers team card or Ranger Suarez? At least the Rangers team card's not a pitcher. All right. I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm, I've been saving this good luck card for the right time. It can't hurt. It can't get any worse. Everything can change between you and me. Right here, right now. Water under the bridge. You just do your job for the first time in your career. All will be forgiven. Impossible, Steve. Steve called it immediately. I should have known. I should have known. I gave him a nut. I gave him a shot to redeem himself. And he goes and does that. He does that. Some people never learn. We've got like hundreds and hundreds of parallels. Hundreds and hundreds. Oh. I think I have two. I have two Clay Holmeses too. We're doubling up on all the juicy ones. There's got to be a relevant card somewhere. One was okay. It was fine. One was fine. Two, not fine. Grant says, please turn that pirate striker into a short. Maybe I will. Thanks for the donation. I'll definitely consider it now. Although, 
We need a little context in the short. Some kind of a sick joke. <laughs> Why did I sleeve it up? Some bunny rabbits. <clears throat> what a one, Andy Rodriguez. Here we come. I'm going to have to slice it. Cal Rally. Could we get a bigger no name, please? A hundred percent. If you were to go through the checklist and pick like the, the worst 200 players. Nothing in that pack, eh? It's at least every pack kind of has something. Man, imagine if they had a first on there. Woo. Oh, yeah. we forget about all of this. That's the wonderful part. Is it really only takes like one hit? We'll just forget about all the nonsense up until this point. That's what I'm holding on to. A little strand of hope. Just a little string. I'm like, just hold on to it. Hanging off the side of a ship, 50 foot waves, and I got a little string I'm holding on to. Like, maybe I'll live. You have got to be kidding me. How about this? What if we do a little quick rip? Kind of change the pace up a little bit. Maybe that'll work. I got 11% chance to pull one. Orange Joe says, sweet. Between Pirates and Giants rookies, it's like 25%, like one in four shot. Which way do these go? Did we, did we get an Isaiah Campbell already? He's such a no-name, I just don't even remember. All right, I already lost interest. Awesome. Another home run. You know, if you're a fan of home run challenge cards, zing, 
You're going to get them out of blaster boxes. Eh? This might be the best card we've pulled all day. Andrew Abbott. <laughs> Rookie Cup. Egg. <laughs> this might be the best card. Yeah. What do you think in the chat? Put a bunch of ones if it's if it's the best card we've gotten all day. <laughs> and your Abbott egg parallel. W. Blue. Ooh, we got back to back jacks. You know, if that was a good card, we'd be rich. Plenty of stars of MLB. Ellie's. Oh, you like Abbott, eh? Have two. Got a lot of parallels out of this box. CJ. Look at that mountain. It, it might not be. You might not be able to get the full realization of how big that pile is. It's a big pile. And I'm holding on to hope and faith that something big's coming. Hey, Lucas. Trident hat, it worked last time. All right. I mean, it's not the trident one, but I'll try any hat. Oh, that was close. Man, it would have stayed if it was a more stable pile. We got a lot of parallels that time. I think I'm going to try a quick rip again. How many boxes left? Uh, I don't know, like a dozen maybe. One, two. Like 13. I'm still having fun, but if I was doing this by myself and it and there wasn't like all you guys hanging out, <laughs> there would be a roaring fire. With plenty of fuel. Egg card. Straight up boom. I think it would be harder to like get so many misses like this than than it is to get hits. Lots of chances left. It's almost a guarantee that we're going to get like, we still have a cup, like at least one real low numbered card. And then that's going to be the big hit. That wasn't bad either. I almost made it, I think. Okay. Nothing in that pack. Nothing? Connor Joe? 
This is where the hit would be. It's a bloodbath. Bloodbath. Who would you be happy with? I don't know. I've only said it about a hundred times, Darren. It's a cool card. But it's not going to get it done. This Cubby says this is the equivalent of getting zero out of ten numbers in Kino. That's a good parallel. It's all pirates are getting the slice treatment from here on out. It's parallel, unless it's something valuable. A little caveat. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to play the 10 spot. I just want to hit some numbers. Well, good thing I played 10 in a row. Like, getting no numbers. 10 draws in a row. 10 spot. I don't have a pirate's hat, BBF. Come on. <laughs> what I look like. Try like the, the reverse mojo. Put a pirate's hat on. Hmm. Good try, but don't own one. Cubs team card parallel. <laughs> you know what? If I had a dollar for every Ellie stars of MLB, I would be able to afford one one hundredth of this case, maybe. Things are bound to turn around any time now. Except for that pack that has nothing in it. Is it too early for a Moscow mule? Hmm. No. Cade Marlowe disagrees. If we're looking for a silver lining, I'm learning about all of these players I've never heard of before. Silver linings. Maybe a different kind of music. This will do the trick. Nothing in this one. Chrome show A. You know what? We might have just pulled the best card we've pulled all case. Chrome stars of MLB show A Otani. It might be the best one. I, I'm kind of joking, but it really might be. Some more eggs. Pitcher. Is the Shohei the best card we pull? Uh. <laughs> eh. Oh, wait. Backwards again. I keep getting that wrong. <laughs> All else fails. Home run challenge card.
There is no better experience with a bust case than right here at Striker Breaks. I'll tell you. Look at, we got a gold in here. Everything can change right now. Right here. Right now. Shane Bieber. Uh, sixth year card. Yeah, I thought about that TTM last year, and then I ended up just not doing any of it, not even scratching them and redeeming them, let alone making a video. Taylor Ward, blue. <laughs> For as down as we all are right now on this case, there's still a lot of shots. There's plenty more boxes. We're not even close to being done. I hope I don't take this luck over to the poker table tonight. <laughs> that'll be a that'll be a rough drive. Rough drive home. Nothing. Nothing in that pack. We'll get that pack out of the way. Bunnies. Mm. Let's get to a thousand. What are we at? 948. Concurrent live in the chat to witness a bloodbath. We can do it if we can help each other through this. Julio. It can only go up from here. That's the best way of looking at it. Can only get better from here. The funnest part is turning it over and seeing how bad it is. Another Jonathan India. He might not even play. Like, he went from being the best red to, like, maybe he doesn't have a roster spot. How many packs left? We got multiple boxes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 10 boxes after this to go. And just in case you're feeling down, home run challenge, Bobby, number three. Oh, whole case, no case. I doubt there. Doubles of Ranger Suarez. There's a blue and a flipper. Shall we guess? We got a vintage stock, I think, and a blue. And then two guys here of no note. Okay. Vintage stock. Maybe. Is that what it is? Hold on. Let me feel. Yep. Vintage stock. This could change the day. It could change everything. Right here. It's a pirate. <sighs> it's really like mostly going to be disappointment. Yeah. Such a good shot at disappointment. Oh, that was our case hit. Andrew Benintendi vintage stock was our case hit, I think. All right. Let's set them there. Maybe, maybe another one. I don't know. There's a, there's a chance we get like a camo or something. No autos. No relics. Can you even get autos out of here? I don't know. But no autographs or relics. But you know what you do get? Doubles of all your favorite Ranger Suarez's.
Cincinnati Reds team card. At least Ellie's on that card. And our second best pull of the day. Shohei. Base stars of MLB. Vientos was a case hit. Yay. A couple of striders. Doubles. This is just the bad collation. Because I'm like... But it's not like it's individual. It's just tough. It's tough. Oh, it's in the right spot. Are you sure that this isn't something special? Are you sure? Come on. I mean, no, like even the secondary rookies, like a uh, Sal Freelich and stuff. <clears throat> you ain't seen nothing yet. Stay away or stay awesome. Get fired up. Get fired up. Dimitri slides in asking if I have a favorite Series 1 format. Does this seem like the time or place to ask me about my favorite Series 1 format to you? Or have you not been watching that long? Dude, David Bednar is a perfect parallel to get. If you were the top parallel, oh, you'd be slicing and dicing your way. An early grave. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe I should open it from the bottom. Maybe that'll make it better. Best pull so far. There's so many, Matthew. You should go back and watch the whole thing. Fire, fire, fire. Just boom, nukes left and right. I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. Well, these aren't Fanatics box boxes, Andy, so... Yeah, the next boxes have nine packs. Blue? <laughs> like every other box has one of these. Oh, I thought that was... I thought it was the Pirates team card. I was about to pull a lighter out and just go to town.
Nothing pack. Okay. This one's got to have something in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another rise. <laughs> Multiple. I think... I seriously think we're just going to double up on all of this. 120. So we're, we're going to get just 60 and then doubles of all of them. This is almost like a bad dream that just uh, like keeps going. And as soon as it's over, it restarts. Cool. Chrome stars. Riley working on the complete set. We're learning about new players. card how many jazz home run challenge cards have we gotten well one two at least two can we see the base card stack <clears throat> What's that going to do for you? You want to see a pile of disappointment? A new best card of the break. Unnumbered. Blue Mike Trout Grand Gamers parallel. <laughs> Dude, this is like you. Oops. So if you went to the store and you bought, like, cleared them out of blaster boxes, that's about how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five. Like, if you go to, I don't know, Walmart, and they've already been picked through a little bit, we got seven blaster boxes left. We go through the self-scan. Beep, beep. Make sure that these little sensors get deactivated. Go out to the car. We're excited. We got seven blaster boxes. and Ooh, this is going to be good. Let's see what happens. We're starting from scratch right here, right now. Starting over. You know what? Maybe I'll just take all of these off the stage. We're going to start from scratch. Because, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing to talk about with all this. No, nothing. Yeah, good. Yes, I like this. This is, this is just what the doctor ordered. Fresh, clean platform. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, this is going to get good. Right about now. Get all this off of here. 
All right. All right. See these? Nothing. Not even worth being up there. Take them off. Starting over. There we go. Hey, guys. I got seven blaster boxes from Walmart. 25 bucks a pop. Tons of parallels. The sky's the limit. Let's see what we can find. Pack number one. Hey, home run challenge. Not bad. Tatis, you know he's going to hit one. W, let's get him up on the stage. I like it. I like the vibes. Mm -hmm. Pack number two. Probably a parallel on this one, eh? Ruiz. All right. Okay. Got a Acuna insert. Not bad, not bad. How about this pack? Nothing on top, but I see a blue parallel right here. And man, what is it going to be? Oh! <gasps> It worked! Ellie! Now we're talking! You just had it. Yeah. All right. Now we're talking. The easiest one to pull. We got him. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. You would not believe it. Jacob999, thank you for taking this case out of circulation. Not so fast, my friend. Eh? Eh? Now we're talking. Look at that. I'm first time seeing one of these. Looks pretty good. Do we put them on the stage? Let's do it. We got good vibes going. I like it. Stay awesome cards with a 1999. I'd hug you if I could. Keep smiling. Stay awesome and God bless. Hat tip to you. Appreciate the generous donation. KC in the house with a 499. Excited to see this seven blaster rip. Good vibes. Thank you. We're already crushing it. Best box ever. Let's go. We got a relic. We're one for one. Relics, and it's a Shohei Otani relic. The best one? Is that the best one we can get? Nothing. Nothing like it. Dude, we're filling the stage up already. First box in, nothing but good stuff. What? Are they all going to be like this? Are all the blasters like this? Guys, I think we might have found a secret format. Blaster boxes? And a rainbow foil? We got a blue. We got a relic. We got a rainbow foil. And an Ellie Stars of MLB. Ultra rare. Bryce Elder on top. Pitcher? Doesn't matter. What's back here? What do we got back here? Grand Gamers, Yastrzemski. Everything's going great. Last pack. Glorious. Anything in here? Nothing too crazy there. Okay, one for one. W's all around. And we got six more. I love it. I love blaster boxes. They're my favorite format. Balling out with blasters. Hit that thumbs up button. We got almost a thousand people in here. Everybody sticks around and watches these few boxes that are going to be just... Look at This is one of my favorite players. Just pulled them. Can't believe it. You know, I might just, I know, I know there's a lot of base cards, but your guy's your guy. <laughs> this is 
one of my favorite rookies on my favorite team. It, it couldn't go any better. It could go a little better right here in the next pack. In that same spot, next pack. Jonathan with a $10 donation. This case is truly the greatest test of endurance of the human spirit. I agree. I hope I pass the test. Juan Soto, thanks for the dono. Chrome Stars. Going to try to put the complete set together. Dansby Swanson. First time ever seeing that card. Gold. Look at this. We got a gold. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. They can't all be winners, but that's not bad. A gold. Henry Davis, but his favorite pirate catcher. And the vibes are coming through in a positive way. Look at this two for two home run challenge cards. I'm going to have a blast scratching and filling out home run challenge cards. You know what? You get your own stand. I like it so much. This is going great. Pientos. Last pack, box number two, got a gold, got a home run challenge, got Williams, and a blue. Could we get doubles of a good blue? Well, it's not Ellie, but it's Mountcastle. And he plays Major League Baseball. It's going to keep getting better and better. You watch. Mmm. Ruiz. Yeah, that looks familiar. seen him before we're getting a lot of rainbow foils we got some funky vibes little bunny rabbit let's get him up on the stage bunny rabbit taylor rogers plenty of packs left I sort of stopped looking at all the other cards for potential Shohei and Soto jersey variations. And five foot two Phillies. Michael Harris. Goldie and Trout. Chrome Stars Judge. Two Chrome Stars out of three boxes. Yelich. Holiday Parallel. JD 2023. Do we put them? Do we put them on the stage? What do you guys think? I'm going to sleeve them up. Put him right here. You know what? That's a base card. We can leave him off. I think that next time. It, you know what? I was a little preemptive with the sleeving. I'm going to save that sleeve for someone really deserving. Hey, another home run. Wait, wait, wait. Back to back hits. 
purple Ryan Nelson. This is our first purple numbered card to $7.99. And it's a pitcher, but we'll take it. Home run challenge. Look at him. Look at them all. Guaranteed to hit one of those. Four boxes left. Four shots. That greatness. Maybe another gold. Golds. One out of 47 packs. We got one so far. Tarek Skubal. Best pitcher in the league. Cy Young. 2024. I'll be driving to poker in two hours, Jeff. Adley Rainbow Foil. Totally different vibe. Getting locked in. That is a retail blue. Of Ellie in the back. Looks dark. But it actually... It's a good looking card. Music stops right in the middle of a song. <laughs> we got over a thousand live in the house. Thanks for joining me. One of the best breaks ever. Just look. Shohei Relic. Ellie Blue. Multiple home run challenge cards. And another Chrome Stars of MLB. This must be my lucky day. Paul Goldschmidt. Lucky day. All right, last pack of this box. Could there be anything greater? Alex Bregman. Okay, three boxes left. Which one's got the camo Jason Dominguez in it? Hmm. This one. Let's find out. What pack's going to be lucky? Hmm. This one seems fat. Let's try this one. We got a thicky. Angels team card. There's Trout and there's Otani. W. Two for the price of one. What a deal. Almost as good as getting an alley right here. Almost. We'll put them to the side, separate pile. Jimenez, second baseman for the Guardians. Renjifo. That one, I like sports cards and stuff. No, I did not. Jaron Duran, rainbow foil.
no tiny blueprint. What do you do with all the trash? Asks Luke. Throw it in the backyard and let it pile up. There's a red. Yandy Diaz. To 199. Brandon with a 46 month member chat. 46 months. Unbelievable. So glad you hit that, Ellie. And Shohei. Keep crushing. Thank you. I'm going to try. Oops. We are backwards again. Manny Margot. Trout stars. Two boxes left. Come on, baby. Mark with the 999 for all the paper cuts. Thank you for great breaks. Thank you, Mark, for being here and watching and hanging out and chatting. And the super chat. That tip to you. Y'all don't have burn barrels in Michigan? Mm, yeah. I just prefer to let the trash pile up. Indefinitely. Bigger the pile, more fun you have. Kids can play on it. Get a nice family of raccoons living inside of it. Adley Chrome. Surprised we haven't gotten like. It kind of looked like a parallel to me. It looked like a red. You'd think we would have gotten one of these. Or, I mean, I guess we did get a couple of numbered parallels. Or, uh, not numbered, uh, parallel inserts, what I meant. One numbered parallel. One numbered insert. Sometimes I get those silly words mixed up. Home field advantage, Jordan. I mean, how lucky can we get? Seven blasters. It's beyond my wildest dreams. We got an HFA, a big blue, a relic, so many home run challenge cards. Look at there's Henry Davis. Wow. What else? I mean, look at a couple of numbered cards, three numbered cards already. And we got a whole box left. Good stuff. Egg. We got an egg and a bunny. Things are just they're really moving along. Maybe I should cut it, cut the video up into the first 33 boxes and then the last seven. Blue. Pirate. Connor Joe. You know, I don't see many pirates on the stage, so I'm not going to freak out about it or anything. Tampa Bay Rays team card. Gotta love it. What if you know who was in there? Hold on. I got to inspect this. Dude, is that him right there? Back in the back? Where is he? Can anybody spot him? It's like, where's Waldo? Dude, that might be him. Or wait, does he have earrings? Hold on, look at the neck necklace. Mm. Did they Photoshop him out? Hold on, that's the next question. 
did they Photoshop him out somewhere? And is it blatant enough to, to be able to tell? Like, was he right there? Or was he... I don't know. That's not bad. I'm going to put him on stage. We're getting alleys left and right. This is the last box. Wow. It's been real. Ah. Wouldn't you think out of literally hundreds of them, like at least over a hundred, wouldn't you think? Oh, I would, but maybe not. Because out of three guys, then it's three into. Another case of blaster soon. No, no, I don't think I don't think so. I think next we're going to do the fanatics boxes. See how those treat us. Look at we got card to 999. This could be it right here. Could also be Jordan Romano. Blue, Amaya, Rainbow. We got an awful lot of numbered cards out of our seven box break. Look at all those numbered cards. Wow. Bound to hit something good. Mm. I think I'm going to hit up some T-Bell after this. Bautista. Chrome Stars. Pete Alonzo. Last pack, and it's Willie Castro. Look at him diving around, sliding this way and that. Oops. Accident. That was an accident, Mitch. No hard feelings. Wow. Seven boxes. Look what we got. Numbered card to 999. Numbered card. To 199, numbered card to 799, 2024. You really can't ask for anything more because, on top of all that, a home field advantage, a Shohei relic, Blue Ellie. I mean, what did we do to deserve such good luck? And look at all the home run challenge cards. One of the days in the summer where you're feeling like, ah, what am I going to do today? Home run challenge card. Maybe the Dodgers come into town against your team. And you're like, good time to pick Mookie, but you don't want to take him against your team. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe Mookie is on your team, which is the Dodgers. And that's the play. So many Ellie's, so many Ellie's. Connor Joe, lots of blues, lots of foils. Look at all that. All of the, I mean... Seven boxes? That is actually... That's a lot. Doesn't get much better than that. I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for joining me. Next up, Wednesday, we're breaking. Five star. Fanatics boxes. Coming your way.